clear. We condemn violence on all sides. We condemn any and all human rights violations and abuses committed by all sides. So we condemn the violence by the, e the ENDF and the Air Train Defense Forces, and we condemn the TPLF's violence. We condemn the TPLF's expansion of war outside of Tigray. The TPLF must withdraw from Afar and Amhara. And we call on the TPLF and the Oromo Liberation Army to immediately stop the current advance toward Addis. We also call on the Ethiopian government to respect international humanitarian law. We're not taking sides. Innocent people, innocent Ethiopians are starving in northern Ethiopia. Withholding food and medical supplies is not acceptable. It is not an acceptable ta tactic at any time. And frankly, it's unconscionable and not what we would expect from Ethiopia. The Ethiopian government must allow UN agencies and their partners to staff their operations with the specialized expertise required to mount an effective response. The reckless expulsion of UN officials are an affront to the United Nations and to the people of Ethiopia. The Ethiopian government must also investigate the terrible killings of humanitarian and human rights workers and hold those responsible to account. And it must cease all arbitrary detentions and ethnic targeting in Addis. Given the nationwide state of emergency, we are concerned about the safety of US citizens, UN, US government personnel and their dependents, and the security of our facilities remain paramount. We will do everything in our power to keep our people safe but we also ask that the state of emergency not be used as a pretense to attack uh, to civilians. We know, and you all know, the only solution to this conflict is a political solution. To that end, the African Union has an important role in resolving this conflict and sustaining regional peace and security. And I wish to thank President Obasanjo again for his efforts. Similarly, we support Kenyan President Kenyatta's November 3rd call for all parties to return to political no negotiations and also his efforts in this regard. Ultimately, the only ones who can bring lasting peace to Ethiopia are its leaders and its people. Only a wider dialogue about the future of their state where all of Ethiopia's people are represented can lead to broader democratic and economic renewal. It is never too late for peace, but the longer this conflict goes on, the harder the road to peace becomes and the more people will die. And as you heard from High Representative Obasanjo, the window of opportunity is limited and time is running out. I urge all parties all parties in the strongest possible terms to back away from the brink and lead their people toward peace and to resume the development agenda that will lead to prosperity for all Ethiopians. Thank you, Mr.